Hey guys, we're at Disney's Hollywood Studios today. Just walking into this park, there's a whole lot of logistics, transportation changes going on. Behind me is the bus loop. I'm standing right by this new area by the restrooms uh, by the gondola station. And I think this would actually be a really good photo spot. There's no one over here. I think it'd be a really great place just to chill out, compose yourself before going into the madness that of Hollywood Studios. You'll see in a second, I got footage of the gond one of the actual gondolas moving into the station, which was very exciting. Um, but in the park, we want to see all the new incredible stuff. Um, there's a new Incredibles event. Uh, Edna Mode is going to be meeting with people, as well as there's a dance party and some new food options over there. So we're going to check that out. And we're just going to walk around the park to see what else what other new things we can see. 2019 is the 30th anniversary of Hollywood Studios. So let's go celebrate, see what we can find. But today is extra magic hours day at Hollywood Studios. And I saw this driving in. This is actually by the new gondola station right outside to the entrance to the park, which is right over that way. And they have what looks to be one of the test gondolas on the wire right there, which is kind of cool to see. I've seen pictures of it. Um, I'm trying to determine if this is the test vehicle that's just like covered up, or if this is one of the actual gondola vehicles. I'm gonna go in and, oh, the lights just came on. I'm gonna go over there and get a closer look, but I think it's one of the test gondola vehicles on the lines right out here it's outside Hollywood Studios. And there you can see the, the uh, pathway goes all the way down there. As I went to start walking to get a closer look, it actually started moving. It looks like they're definitely testing this going into the gondola station. And this looks like one of the actual gondolas. I can see through the fabric and I see like a yellow coloring. I think this is one of the actual gondolas. So this entire bus loop area and these restrooms over here weren't open the last time I was here. So they've definitely done a lot of work, a lot of theming, and these restrooms are going to, I foresee to be very uh, busy when people are coming from the gondola station, which is right over there. And then these are all the different bus loops uh, over here. Honestly, I've come to Disney's Hollywood Studios probably hundreds of times and it's a little disorienting. They've definitely changed the logistics of how you get into this park. So definitely a lot of um, transportation changes coming to this park. So this water bottle refiller station is right outside the new restrooms by the gondola station. You can kind of see how unfinished it is. Um, but this area is still open, but they're still definitely going to be doing some touch-up work around here. But this is kind of a nice alternative to having to use, you know, the water fountains, which are right here. You can just put your water bottle right in here and fill it up and head into the park. Where are you from? Oklahoma. Oh, welcome okay. to About Phrasing. Yeah. Ah. She's okay with it. I was just teasing you, like coffee, that was just a light roast. This is an extra magic hour morning and the line for Slinky Dog is all the way back here, 150 minute wait, almost by Pixar Place over here. I mentioned earlier that 2019 is Hollywood Studios 30th anniversary and they have all these banners around the park. I'm assuming themed for each land, so we're in Toy Story land, so there's Jesse, Slinky, and Woody down there. This is the new Mike and Sully Monsters Inc. meet and greet inside One Man's Dream. The line, I'm assuming they're somewhere back there. We can't see them and the line is 30 minutes. It's a little long for me to wait, but maybe we'll get to meet them sometime in the future, but they still have all the Galaxy's Edge models up that you can look at <clears throat> on your way into the meet and greet experience. So this is the Sunday of MLK weekend at Hollywood Studios. Tower of Terror is a 105 minute wait. I don't think I've ever seen the line this long, but 
it wraps all the way around and ends right back there, I guess. Uh, there's a main display here of Mickey's 90th merchandise here in Hollywood Studios. I really like this mug, mainly for the handle. I think the handle is really cool. Uh, it's $20. And then both sides have something on it. Let's celebrate is on the back. This takes me back to my childhood. I didn't know they still made these. This is one of those slap wristbands that you can just slap on your wrist and it's all, uh, all the different Mickeys on there. How cute is this Mickey plush? Oh, it's really, really soft. Um, he's $29.99. He's adorable. He's got his hat on and his uh, light blue bow tie. Cute. I really like all the detail this shirt has in the background. The Celebrate Mickey and there's Goofy and who else is on there? Donald, all celebrating. And then the main print on the front there. I like that shirt a lot. $19.99 for that one. This is where the new Incredibles event area is. I guess it's called the Incredible Celebration, and it's supposed to take place in Municipal. Uh, you can meet at the mode in there, there's a dance party, there's some special food. You can even get Jack Jack's Num Nums in there, which is from uh, Disney California Adventure, and I cannot wait to try those. Uh, it should be a fun time. Let's go check out what this is all about. This is the Edna Mode experience. And as you can see, people are already lined up to meet her. Uh, and this area doesn't technically open for another 20 minutes. But she has like some costumes in there. You can kind of see in that window right there. And of course you get to actually meet her, which is which is really, really cool and something I wanna do for sure when the line is at this long. And over here, this is just right next to the Edna Mode experience is the bakery where you can get the Jack Jack cookie. This is the uh, full menu that they have over here. I'm sure this object right here is going to be part of Jack Jack's scavenger hunt. I have heard it's not fully operational yet, but it's another activity you can do while walking around this incredible celebration. This is a cool photo op in the area. You can see it says incredible celebration and you can fit a few people in here and do your own superhero poses. Pretty cool. This is kind of a view the other way down. Uh, this is where Pixar Place used to be. So that used to be the former entrance to Toy Story Mania. And you know, there used to be monkeys hanging from there. It was really a fun area. So they've kind of transformed it into like a city block for this incredible celebration. This is lots of weather coming you live from the Super Shindig. Right now, it's time to kick things off in a big way and welcome your hostess with the hostess. You're looking very strong today. Now that you're here, why don't you show us your favorite workout routine so we can all work up along with Mr. Incredible. Okay, here we go, everyone. Keep your eyes on Mr. Incredible because he's going to show you how he stays so strong. Come on over here, everyone. Let's see this workout routine. Okay, everybody, punch, punch, and do an arm workout. Punch, punch, and curl those arms. Give them We just got done at the Incredible Celebration. We did only see Mr. Incredible dancing, but I believe Frozone and Mrs. Incredible also join in the dance party. And there's also a reporter that's kind of walking around interviewing just random people, which is kind of fun. 
So it's kind of something you can visit throughout the day and see the different characters, you know, get some dessert over there. Good to kind of just stop in and out as you're going throughout the park. Okay, now that you're both here, let's test out our super coordination and do the latest super shindig craze, the super hoop. Everybody, this is so much fun. You're looking strong. I see you loving that hoop. Oh, look at you. You're so good. I feel like Elastigirl dropping the hula hoop is me every time I try to hula hoop. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we just got accosted by some stormtroopers. Alright, so that's it from Disney's Hollywood Studios. The crowd levels are definitely high on Martin Luther King Jr. weekend for sure. We saw all those wait times. We did get to see the gondola testing, which was amazing. That was so exciting to see. This park is literally changing before our eyes, which is, I have mixed feelings about, because this is my favorite park, and I feel like it's going through a transformation now. And of course, the incredible celebration, which was, I'm excited to see what this scavenger hunt's gonna be like, because right now I feel like it's just another dance party, which, you know, I can take or leave. I uh, am excited to try Jack Jack's Num Num, Cookie Num Nums, another time. I wasn't hungry this morning, but we'll definitely be back to try that. Um, so just make sure to like, subscribe, and follow along with us around Florida. Thanks for watching.